Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss that NASA wants to grow fungus and algae houses on the moon for astronauts. Humans might live in mushroom colonies, built using fungus, algae, and water on the moon in the coming years. This is if NASA's new plan is executed perfectly. The space agency plans to conquer the moon and build colonies where humans can live and conduct more experiments. It is supposed to act as a springboard to reach further into space, especially Mars. However, NASA is faced with the dilemma of building these structures since it might not be possible to send bricks and steel to the moon, and even if it can, whether or not they can sustain the lunar environment is an altogether different question. Besides, sending just one pound of material to the moon costs a whopping million dollars. This is where fungus comes into the picture, as per fresh plans to settle humans there, which is expected to prove cost-effective as well as resilient. Al Jazeera reported that NASA is planning to use mycotecture, a method that uses fungal spores and algae, to not build but grow structures in space. NASA is collaborating with others to make it a reality. Chris Mora, founder of the architecture firm Red House, a company partnering with the space agency, told Al Jazeera, You can't take boards or bricks, so what are you going to build with? The answer lies in the lunar soil, water and mold, which will be sent to the moon in sealed and inflatable form. The fungal spores, when combined with algae and water, will literally start growing into habitable structures, which will provide the perfect place for humans to stay. Experts say these mushroom buildings will protect astronauts from dangerous space events, such as the widespread harmful radiation and micrometeorites. Radiation, Mara says, is the primary reason why man has never returned to the moon since the epic Apollo missions. He says, fungus-based structures will prove to be a game-changer in man's quest to go back to the moon and further into space. Just 8 centimeters of the material can block over 99% of radiation. The magnum of this plan can be gauged by the fact that in contrast, 10 feet of lunar dust does the same job. As the first step, NASA will test small-scale models on the moon by 2028. NASA wants to build bases on the moon which astronauts will use as stepping stones to travel towards their next destination, Mars. Similar mushroom structures will be used to build on Mars as well, in which humans will be able to dwell safely. That's all for this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe us for more.